Peace, peace, beautiful beings, and welcome back to my channel. I am Coach V, and in honor of Mother's Day 2020, I want to share with you seven tips on how you can help support mom's mental health. I have my notes next to me so I can stay on task. So if you see me looking off to the side, I just want to make sure I'm staying on point because as a mother, this is a topic I can ramble off 511 ways <laughs> that I would want to be supported as a mom and helping to keep my mental health in a great state. So instead of giving you that type of video, I've made me some notes so I can stay on point. So take notes. Tip number one, recognize that mom does need help. I know a lot of times moms are looked upon as being super women. They can leap tall buildings in a single bound, get dinner ready, help with the homework and do laundry without missing a beat and all while looking fly. However, I encourage you to accept the idea that mom does need help. I'm pushing it this way because a lot of times when we assume that somebody got it or they can handle it or they don't need me, we don't offer any help. So I'm challenging you to accept the fact that mom does need help in an effort that you'll be more likely to offer help to mom. Now, I'm not just talking about on holidays, on her birthday, or every blue moon. I'm talking about consistent, quality help. So ask mom, mom, how can I help you? And then actually listen to the feedback that mom provides. Then take immediate action in providing the type of help that mom expressed to you that she needs. And of course, we're developing a new habit so that we can offer mom help on a consistent basis. Tip number two, take initiative on regular chores, activities, or projects. There are certain things that occur inside of the home that are regular events. These are things that we don't have to ask mom does she need help with because we observe that it's things that she regularly do. So surprise her and already have it done in a quality way for her. Some of these things could be replenishing regular household items. If you see the toilet paper is low, the dish soap is low, the laundry detergent is low, the toothpaste is low, the shampoo is low, trash bags. There are things that we regularly purchase that you can take initiative on and restock and replenish. Car maintenance. You know how usually you'll go to get an oil change and they put the little sticker in the car to let you know the miles and the date for the next oil change? Take mom's car for an oil change. Get the tires rotated. You see her tread is thin, buy a new set of tires. Also, laundry, doing the dishes, taking out the trash, dusting, wiping the windows. These are things that regularly happen inside of the home that you could take initiative on and get done in a quality way. Yes, you'll notice I keep throwing the word quality around. Because we know that some of us watching will go and take the initiative on something, on a project, and get offended if mom doesn't appreciate it because we know we didn't give it our best. So in taking initiative to help support mom's mental health, make sure you're doing quality work and or you're asking mom what she needs and how she would like it to be done so that you definitely will add to supporting mom's mental health than taking away from it by doing a poor job. Step number three, support a regular self-care routine for mom. 
So in this particular tip, it's going to take the entire family to support mom having regular self-care time. So for instance, if mom likes to read, if she writes poetry, if she likes to luxuriate in a bubble bath, if she likes to exercise, or even if she wants to have a girl's night out, it takes the family to support that type of self-care routine. Whether it's watching the children, whether it is making sure that dinner is prepared, whether it is running the bath for her, having her favorite bath bomb, whether it's having a reading nook built, do things to support a regular self-care routine for mom. That definitely will support her mental health. Tip number four, regularly pamper mom. Yes, if mom is married or dating you, prepare a date night. Get dressed up, wash the car, take her out to a nice place, pull her seat out, order for her, say a toast when your drinks come, hold her hand, look into her eyes. Another way you can regularly pamper mom is to help upkeep her personal maintenance. So whether it's her hair, her nails, a facial, a massage, help support her personal maintenance routine in an effort to show that you want to pamper her. Another idea is to give mom regular relaxation time. That's a form of pampering in itself. If mom works outside the home and she's working all day and when she comes home, the kids are in her face, dinner needs to be cooked, mom doesn't have that time to decompress from work life into her home life, give mom that regular relaxation time. If mom would like to have it 30 minutes as soon as she gets home before she does her routine, give her that. If mom would like to have it once the kids are put to bed, give her that. If it's just you and her because the kids are grown or the kids are spending the night at grandma's, give her that time to decompress. She'll let you know if she wants to skip a day, but you set it up to pamper her to give her that time to decompress. I promise you, following any or all of these tips to help support mom's mental health will make for a more pleasant, more peaceful, more loving experience for the entire household. Tip number five. Engage mom in regular, meaningful conversations. So we're not just talking about chit-chatting about the latest events on the news or did that girl at work take her lunch again? No, sit down with mom and ask her, how's she feeling? How's she doing mentally? Is she cool? Is she stressed? Is she at peace? Is she excited about something? What brightened her day today? What challenge did you have in your day and how may I help? Sometimes moms just want to talk it out. Moms just want to feel that someone cares enough about how her day went, how she feels, what injustices she suffered, and what wins she accomplished. We don't, as moms, always want to hear what's for dinner. I ain't got no clean clothes. Can I get this? Can you take me to do this? Engage in regular, meaningful conversation with mom and listen to her. Don't multitask and ask a question, but you're watching TV or you're playing a game or you're texting. Look into her eyes. Follow the emotional cues that she's giving so that you can give her what she needs in that moment. And if you're not sure, about what she may need in that moment, I encourage you to ask her. And while she's providing you with an answer, listen to that answer and respond accordingly. Men, I will say to you again, sometimes moms just want to talk and get it out and know that you care. Mom doesn't always want to talk to you and get a response of, I'm about to go fix it. Let me go handle this. They said what? Ask her, do you want me to do something about it? And she'll tell you. So listen and engage in regular, meaningful conversation. Tip number six. Randomly express to mom how much you love her 
how much you care for her and how much you appreciate her as well as the work that she does for the family. I emphasize that and made them two separate things for a reason. A lot of times we appreciate mom for cooking dinner. We appreciate mom for buying us a pair of shoes. We appreciate mom for paying a bill. We appreciate mom for handling mommy type of duties. But that's appreciating what she does for the family. When you tell someone, I appreciate you, like I appreciate your presence, I appreciate your thoughts, I appreciate your being, I appreciate you as a person, that is one of the most impactful things you can say. Because what that communicates to that person on the receiving end is that you see them as more than just an ATM or what they can do for you. You appreciate their very existence. So randomly, share with mom how much you love her, care for her, and appreciate her as well as the things she do for the family. My seventh and final tip in how you can help support mom's mental health is check your ego. Yep, check your ego and provide the support that she says she needs. When I say check your ego, I'm saying when you're supporting mom, you're supporting her. You're supporting what she tells you, you're supporting what she thinks, and you're supporting what she does. Don't enter into the space of, well, I'm going to support you how I feel you need to be supported and you're going to like it. No, 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 not today. That's not it. So support mom by listening to her and taking in and receiving what she says she needs. And in order to do that effectively, you're going to have to check your ego. That would include making apologies and amends for saying things or not saying things or for doing things or not doing things. Apologize genuinely and make amends as needed. Redefine or reassess the gender roles within the household. It's 2020. Mommies just aren't the ones cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, and taking care of the kids. It's 2020. The gender role ideology is slowly fading away. So have a conversation and say, babe, I'll cook on these days, you cook on these days. We'll buy takeout on this particular day. I can do the laundry too. I can change a diaper. I can prepare a bottle. Redefine, readdress, reassess gender roles inside of your household in an effort to support mom's mental health and to give her the support that she says she needs. As I already mentioned about diapers, help with the children and the pets. Those are just not things for mom to do 24 seven. Help with the pets, help with the children. Comb their hair, help them brush their teeth, get them ready for bed, get their lunches packed for school. Take the pets for a walk, clean out the cage, buy the food. Help mom with these tasks because they just don't fall on her shoulders. Also be emotionally present and supportive. Sometimes we have to check our ego in order to provide that type of emotional support because if we're the type that feels like I don't need no help, don't nobody help me, I got my emotions in check, you cry too much, why that hurt your feelings, woo, 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 that's the ego talking. So I encourage you to check your ego and provide mom with the emotional support and be emotionally present as she needs it. So, those are my seven quick tips on how you can support mom's mental health on a regular basis. Let me know in the comments what you think about this list. And also, if I've forgotten some things that are important to you, add those things in the comments as well so we can get a discussion going. Mother's Day is right around the corner. I would love for as many of you as possible to adopt some of these tips 
and also add some tips of your own that can benefit the household for you as well as support the mental health of the mom in your life. Please give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the notification bell so that you're one of the first persons to know when I upload new content. This channel contains anything and everything about mental health and healing without medication and I also talk about angel numbers and share how those meanings can be used to support your mental health as well. Again, I am Coach V, and my signature message is that mental health is sexy, and I need your help to share my signature message worldwide. To all of the super moms out there, I love you, I appreciate you, and you are definitely needed. So take these tips, implement them in your house, implement some of your own and continue to press forward because coach v sees you we see each other <laughs> i will see you all in the next video be blessed